Okay, I want to talk about uh, the basic uh, Scan Studio environment. We're going to start talking about Scan Studio. And when you open it up, and I opened it up uh, to a file that I have here. Um, and this is your basic scan window. Up here you have your main menu bars. Below that you have uh, what can be described as a task bar. And what this does, it does basically shows the overview of the scan workflow. And it's basically um, a browse if you want to bring in files, but you're going to scan, you're going to align, trim, fuse, polish, and then output. Okay. Uh, and over here you have your settings windows where you can adjust your settings. And this is your work area. And this is where you uh, see and work with your model. Uh, your left mouse button uh, dollies your object like so. Uh, your right mouse button, you zoom in, zoom out, and you hold down both to pan. Uh, you'll note that here, on this row right here, you have four different uh, texture modes. This is textured, and as we stated earlier, here's where you can sort of see those alignment pins on this scan. Okay. Uh, below that, you have this mode, which shows your data uh, as a solid object. This shows the, the model, your scan models, as a solid object. Here, you can view it as a as polygons, and here we can actually see all the over overlapping scans that comprise uh, this model. And finally, uh, on the bottom, you can also view your data as a point cloud. As a point cloud. Uh, most often, not. I like working in solid mode unless I'm aligning, and often when I'm aligning, I align in solid mode because I can get a really good sense of the capture or the quality of the capture of my of, of my scans and I can see if there are any problems oftentimes the textures will obscure that over here we have our scan families and we're going to talk more about that later but all your um, data that you capture in scan studio is captured either as um, as scan families of individual scans bracket scans or in this case 360 scans and you'll note here that we have two different scan families that comprise this model now one of the most important things that you need to do when you before you start a scan project one of the most uh, first and most important thing that you need to do is to come up here and edit your preferences and you should get in the habit of doing this whenever you start a new project and the most important thing to do is to come over here and use this window to define where to save your scans to. It's very important because A, you want your projects all to be in one directory, and B, your scan files can be very large. So you'll actually go into Windows, set up the directory first because for some reason there's no new toggle in here, and you'll have to sort of follow the directory tree um, to where you have stored uh, your your scan files and I have a directory that I call set up that I call scan works and I'll usually uh, define a directory in this case I created this directory scan videos and that's where I want it to save my scans the alignment settings uh, you can pretty much leave alone initially um, that's a point of discussion for another time uh, you want to enable model backups uh, and and you can leave these at their default you have a choice um, if you're going to want to capture your textures, you get full resolution textures. Note that when you use this, you get a JPEG file, you can get a raw, you also get a raw file of your data, uh, and these can begin to take up a lot of space on your on your hard disk. Okay, and secondly, uh, you want to map the 2D textures to polish and fuse because that helps out a lot. But uh, sometimes you can go to low resolution, and if you're not going to be using um, if you're not going to be using textures for alignment, uh, 
and you're not going to be using textures downstream you might uh, set this to no texture but the most important thing that you need to do is to set up the directory that you um, I'll put your scan files to. I can't emphasize that enough. And that concludes uh, this overview of the sort of scan studio workspace.